Live from New York, it's a show that's thinking about in series sweeps. Like you win two games, it you lose two games. Yeah, exactly. So his point is he, you, thinks you, he thinks it's going to happen in the Tumble Wolves tonight. Maybe. Is, Today. I don't know. He's not that confident. Jets have their schedule out. Is Aaron, a lot of prime time games for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Get off the podcast into the prime time. Is Aaron Rodgers now headed to the playoffs? Meanwhile, tonight, oh, Hubs, can we tickle the ivories a little? Oh, bit? God, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> this Joker close out the Wolves in a double gentleman sweep in Minneapolis what, tonight. What's a double gentleman sweep? You're about to find out. <laughs> right now, it's time for the most oh. motivational segment in all of sports. It's the Bud List. Also, time, Danny, where we read some viewer mail. That's right. In the year 2024, we get a ton of mail. You would think email you're talking about? Yeah. No, actual physical mail. Wow. <laughs> Our show's so Dear Wilds, <laughs> love the show. When you're watching the late games, do you prefer to stay at home or go out. <laughs> I prefer to stay at home. I don't get dressed and go out. You also stay at home. I know that much. Danny, you stay at home? I stay at home. Stay yeah. at home. Yeah. What do you do? I like to get out among the people. <laughs> Go out to the TJI Fridays or the old Budless. I, I go out to a little restaurant, a little bar, and what do you watch have? the game by what do you, myself. What do you well, order? Last time I had a brownie obsession. <laughs> don't, don't take my advice. Don't eat brownie obsessions at 11 o'clock at night if you're uh, a little up there in age. All right, here we go. At number three, Jason Tatum. Oh. Now people might be saying, wait, what? They, they're the quickest team into the conference finals. Yeah. Why is Jason Tatum on there? For, Jason, congratulations for getting to yet another Eastern Conference final. He's only 26 years old. You must feel like this is your birthright. Five Eastern Conference finals in seven seasons. That's amazing. It. That is amazing. He just got to get some championships. All right. But here's the deal. Individually hasn't really been a great playoffs for you. You've played two injury depleted teams, Miami. Cleveland and you're averaging 24 points a game sounds great, but that's your lowest since 2019 43% shooting and 28% from three mm. career low in the playoffs and so here's the deal you are officially still a superstar he's in club superstar yes did no no chance of you coming out you didn't have to worry about that. But I don't think you're getting, like, the superstar treatment right now. Nobody's viewing you like that. Your team had by far the best record in the playoffs, and you didn't even finish in the top five MVP voting. So there's a little shine being lost by you right now. And so the pressure is on. Look, you should beat the Knicks, but they are going to, if they win, they're going to play you guys tough. They're like Miami. They're never going to die. So you got to come out there, have a great series, if you don't, if you don't get to the finals, this could be the last time we see the Celtics in this form. Yep. I, I got I gotta think there's major change. I don't think you're getting traded, but I think some of your teammates that you like will be getting traded if you don't get to the finals. Jason, I do believe in you. At number two, Tyrese Halliburton. I feel like he's been on there a lot. Yeah. This these playoffs. But Tyrese, welcome to stardom. I mean, stardom is when you lose a series, you should win. You get the blame. Period. You, you just get the blame when you're the star. And you say, should win. Chris, we're the sixth seed. Yeah. What do you mean, should win? Well, th look at the, the Knicks are running on fumes. All right, Julius Randle out. Mitchell Robinson out. OG Ananobi out. I get it that you were the underseeded team, but now you really should win this series. You really should. And we can see that even the way the games have been played. If you lose, you'll probably say, Hey, we're a young team. We'll build. This will be a building block, okay? But I would say eh, opportunity lost because guess who's going to be around next year barring injury? Milwaukee, Philadelphia, Miami. They'll all be back, so you guys won't have an easier trip to get to the conference finals. So you got to get it done, Tyrese. Up and down series, 234 and a 34-35 point game. Then two games, you didn't even take 10 shots. So you got to be aggressive and win game six and bring in a do-or-die game sock, seven for at the Garden. I believe in you, Tyrese. I really do. Do you? I, I, I do. I mean, I got the Knicks, but still, okay. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. At, at number one, two guys. Oh. Cat. And Ant, Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards. Let me start with Carl Anthony Towns 
because he's the oldest. All right, you, you sound like a parent, right? Yeah. You're the oldest. Let me talk to you. All right, Cat, you've never been to the conference finals. You got to come out there and get it done. All right, your man Anthony Edwards is going to need your support. Okay, you got to go out there. I need 28 to 30 points Ooh, from you, not tough. the 23. All right, don't, and, and look, you were called out on national television by a current player, not Chuck, not Kenny Smith, not Shaq. Draymond Green called you out for your little limping thing you were doing after the game. <laughs> and I got admit, I'm with Draymond on that. You play 38 minutes you, and don't limp at all, and then you limp off the court. So go out there and prove Draymond to be a liar because he said that proved you don't believe. Prove him to be a liar and show that you believe and take this game six. Now, Anthony Edwards, same thing. You know, after the game, I thought he, you spoke the truth when you said, hey, I just laugh. Jokic is the best player in basketball. But a lot of play, people didn't like that. They didn't like you saying that about an, an opponent while the series is still going on. And they took that as evidence that they're done. Yeah. They've mailed it in. Now, look, there is, prove those naysayers to be a liar, Ant. There is no shame in losing to the defending champions. But there is shame in quitting or giving up or surrendering before the series is over. So, Cat and Ant, go out there and prove these people wrong. Okay. I believe in you. Well, before, before Danny goes, what were you shaking your head about, Wiles? I just. He knows the power of the Bud List. I know the power of the Bud List, certainly, but you said that you firmly believed in the Wolves. I and do. you would sneak in little things like, hey, there's no shame in losing to the defending champs. <laughs> what <there> is it? <laughs> <laughs> I do believe in him, but there is, there is a He's shame. He's got his basics. He's got his basics. No, no, I'm just stating facts. <laughs> Well, it's an honor to add someone to the bud list. I know how powerful yes. it is. Yeah, uh, we'll inject a little bit of football here. I'm going to put Tua on Ooh, the bud list. Tua. He's That's under good. duress. Reports are that the Dolphins and Tua are very far apart on a contract. So mm. he's playing under his fifth-year option. And the schedule comes out. And so the sequencing of the games is going to matter a lot because he's never won a game when it's 45 degrees or colder. Now, I'm not going to crush him for that playoff loss Drew to, loves to that the Chiefs. Yeah. I'm not going to crush him for that play. You got to play in the cold. <laughs> well, f fans lost fingers and toes for that game. That, so he, he at least didn't have that happen to him. That'd be tough to be a quarterback. But sequencing the schedule, last six games, they're at Lambeau at night on Thanksgiving, late November. Then it's a three-game stretch where it's no cold games, but it's tough games. Jets, Texans, Niners. Then at Cleveland at night, late December, going to be cold. At the Jets, early wow. January, going to be cold. So if he's not going to get paid before the year, he's got to finish strong. The last six games there, three cold, three tough opponents, doesn't set up for him to finish strong. He's and under those duress. are four teams that made the playoffs. They were tomato can kings too last year. Oh, one yeah. One in six against playoff teams. Oh, that's a good one, Dan. That's really good. All Look right, that. I am going to put one of the most kind of popular out of nowhere teams in the NFL on the bud list. The Detroit Lions. Everybody likes Dan Campbell. Yeah. Everyone likes what they're doing there. And they paid a lot of their guys. And as Coach Mangini says, those guys didn't get better. They just got more expensive. And the question is, because Dan Campbell seemed to know they might have left a Super Bowl appearance on the board. When you're up 17 in the conference championship yeah. game and you squander it. And when he said, I told him, we might never be back here, boys. Like, it was honest. But it was also maybe truer than people think. It, a couple years ago, the final four teams, Kansas City, Cincinnati, the Rams, and the Niners. And you would think, oh, well, they would all be right back in that position. No, the Rams actually had the season from hell that year and missed the playoffs entirely. Two years ago, the final four teams, Kansas City, Kansas City is going to be on all these, Cincinnati, <laughs> San Francisco, and Philly. And then Cincinnati has the season from hell. The final four teams this past season, Kansas City, Baltimore, who I know that side of the table believes in, San Francisco, who I know that side of the table believes in, and Detroit. History says one of those four teams is going to more than stub its toe. Could it be the team that just gave $165 million guaranteed to Jared Goff? Could it be the team that had as 
crushing of a conference championship game loss, as in recent memory, blowing that lead. So I think the Lions now, instead of being the plucky underdogs, yeah. are the hunted rather than the hunter in what I believe to be the best division in football. Plus, Caleb is probably going to the Super Bowl, so he's going to be getting harder. <laughs> so, like that. for all those reasons, oh Brew, the Lions are under duress. No, it's fair because, like you said, they are going to be hunted, and they haven't had experience yeah. in being the team, getting everybody's best shot. And that division, I, look, it's going to be hard. It can happen. It's going to be hard to get three teams in the playoffs yeah. in that division. So, yeah. I'm putting the Steelers under duress, bro. And the Steelers have Steelers. had a funny history. Yeah, Steelers and the Patriots are in the same boat. They just don't realize what? it. No, they the don't. Patriots Nobody still... actually realizes that. Well, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to explain it right now. Used to be like, hey, let's go to the Super Bowl. It's like, ah, let's kind of make some playoff runs. And it's like, uh-oh, our star quarterback is gone. What are we going to do? And now we're just kind of searching around. And then the Steelers have lowered the bar so much, like, hey, let's be 500 again. Like, oh, okay, that's a successful season. But now their over-under is set at 7.5, so Vegas thinks their 500 streak is in danger. They've got the toughest schedule in the league based on projected win totals. They play eight straight uh, games against teams projected to have winning records. So this back half of the schedule, not impossible. Good. It's impossible. They play the Ravens. Then they, if they're in Cleveland on three days rest for a Thursday. They go into Cincy after that Thursday game. Home again against the Browns. Then you're going to Philly. Then you're going to Baltimore. Then you got the defending champs. And then you finish up with Joe Burrow who likes to get hot at the end of the season. Wow. They're in a rough spot. Also, if you ever want to make the move from Russ to Justin or if you think from Justin to Russ, and yeah. on the back court, like, ugh, I don't know about that. <laughs> if you do it at Russ the bye, like, maybe you get the commanders, and me. then it gets very, very tough. So I think the Steelers got a tough draw with that schedule, and their 500 streak is in danger. Only Always thing I'm saying, Tomlin, but this is in danger now. We've thought what the last few seasons that that 500 mark was going to be in danger. Not only do they go 500 or better, they make the playoffs. Yeah. So that's also just that is record, incredible. Not stuff. a thing. Making the playoffs? It's just or being, the Steelers have made it like. They've made it an accomplishment. Wiles, you, you're, 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 the, ready to you're throw the drive for, for five, five wins. Guys. What are you talking if, about? If your team you're going to be screaming games. bloody murder if they you, win yeah, six. We have won a Super Bowl. I think this is true. More recent the Steelers won a playoff game? Yes. That's correct. Okay, good. Let's go to break. <laughs> 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 <laughs>